are you curious about page load times and technical SEO and don't really understand what it is or where to go to find out about it? Don't worry, I've got you covered. So if I jump in here, let me just check that change. Yeah, brilliant. So here is the article for Esther website. I'm going to use this just because it's a website that you guys know what it is. Um, sorry, I'll just push buttons there. That's no good for you. So you can either push F12 and that will pop up. It might pop up a new window, but you can click inspect and this will pop up. And this is basically the developer tool. So this tells you about what's on page. You can highlight the specific elements and you can maybe change the size of them and stuff like do whatever you like. However, we're not here for that. What we're here for is you might have to click the little arrows here. We're here for something called Lighthouse. So Lighthouse, I don't know if this is made by Google or they bought it in-house from somewhere else. But this essentially is how you can test your website and look for optimization opportunities. So this is like very technical in the true sense. So you, you probably don't need progressive web app unless you're planning on it running without actually having an internet connection and stuff. However, you're going to want to turn on SEO, accessibility, performance, etc., etc. I'm in China right now using a VPN, so I might get terrible performance with mobile, but we're going to run mobile anyway. Um, and I know there's an issue on page, so this will be really good. But if we just click analyze page, and I would recommend doing this in an incognito browser actually, because sometimes your plugins can mess up with this. However, I think I'm fine because I think I've not got too many plugins on this particular profile. But do use incognito. It makes a significant change and it's worth doing. And essentially, you might have seen it, it basically reloads this page a couple of times. It does it with having clicked this, so it puts it in a uh, mobile size screen. So here's an iPhone SE. And you can see that whilst I'm 100% on accessibility, so that's stuff like making sure that the contrast is a, a good difference between the background, making sure that you've got the little uh, things for screen readers to help people that are blind. Like I'm, I'm clearly doing really well in that. Unfortunately, I'm slacking a bit on best practices. So it, let's look at what's going on here. So in here, I can see that I've got an image. I don't know if I can zoom in any more for you. I've got an image that's not displaying with the correct aspect ratio. So this image here <coughs> is currently displaying on mobile at 1.17 aspect ratio and it should be 1.54. So how you fix that depends entirely on your particular thing. So yeah, you can see this is scrunched up. And um, so for Article Fiesta, probably not the best thing to show you because actually this is all custom code. However, uh, I will just quickly run the same thing on, you know, it's this local host. So this is my development version. I'll just go for best practices just to be quick. But this is um, the same thing and I've made that change and hopefully we should no longer see that error. Essentially, I had a width and a height set. Yes, I'm 95. And it's still moaning about the same image. Oh, maybe I haven't made the fix. But ultimately the reason this is happening so if we look at this element here i can see that it's got 100 percent width set 100 percent width and auto height will be causing that to image fluid so is that what i want oh, it's probably max width 100 maybe oh you gotta love doing these things live don't you but ultimately, I need to play with those HTML attributes to find what's causing it to do this. It's not going to let me play ball because of uh, whatever the reason might be. <laughs> but you need to find out what's causing that particular problem. I mean, that'll make it go away, but that's not really what I want. I can't remember the style name off the top of my head. But you want to go through this report and look for anything that jumps out and it's something that you need to adjust. So I'm not too bad. Like browser errors are logged to console. Uh, the reason for that is I've probably got an ad block on here. So again, use incognito. Uh, yeah, that's something to do with ad block, I think. <clears throat> the things that I do need to look at though, performance, like you want this number eight year above probably, like probably even higher than that. <clears throat> 
I can see that my biggest issue here is largest contentful paint. So what is largest contentful paint? That is when, when this page loads, let's say, let's turn off mobile mode. When this page loads, let's say this box or this bit of text was really small and then it suddenly jumped in size because the font loaded in or the style for the, the height of the text. So let's, let's give a, an example. Ooh, will you let me click it. So let's say when it's loading, it looks like this. And then next thing we know, it's suddenly like this big. So that, that large content, paint, large paint of content, <laughs> funnily enough, that meant that when, when a user was going to click on this button, when the page was loading, two seconds later that happened and they've clicked and it's not on the button. And that can cause all manner of issues to the user. I actually quite like that with that button there, <laughs> but it can, uh, because that might make them click on an advert, which is maybe good for you, but it's really bad. Like you can get in trouble with Google for that. But it can just be really frustrating. Like you must have been to a website before that you go to click login and the login button jumps. It's like, ah, uh, I, I really want to use that. And now I've got to wait for it to do its thing. That's basically what it's moaning about there. So very important that you get that sorted. Total, total blocking time. This is when you've got JavaScript on page. So actually, probably this is GA4. GA4 is terrible and really not well optimized at all. Oh, sorry, cum cumulative layout uh, shift is what I was just talking about then. But total blocking time, that is scripts. Uh, you, you just need to fix those. I think we actually get some like good, yeah, if you scroll down, you get opportunities for what you can do here. So if we reduce unused JavaScript, Let's see the big offender here, Google Tag Manager. Really, really bad. I don't know what they've done with GA4, but it's not, not ideal. This image is too big. I could reduce it. This image is too big. I could reduce it. But there's a bunch of opportunities that we can do here. <clears throat> uh, so whatever image that is, search performance results, I could be serving that in WebP. So if I look on here, here, this thing here. I can set that in WebP and that makes that better. And that's really easy for me to fix, actually. Uh, don't serve legacy bro, JavaScript to modern browsers. So that that is when you've got full back code. I, I don't think that's too bad. The explicit width and height, this is what's messing that up. So I've actually fixed that in uh, my local thing. But apparently I need to do more fixes. This is why you, you run through these checks and make sure what's going on is correct. So I've passed a lot of the audits, but um, you can see the other things that you've that you've passed down here. You probably don't need to care. I'm just showing it for you guys so that you see some of the other things that's worth doing, like minifying your, G your CSS and JavaScript. Basically, it takes all the white space and just gets rid of it because computers don't care about white space. But you transferring files does care about uh, white space because that's an extra character it's larger network packets it's not what you want text compression again it's all about making the the thing that gets sent around much more efficient pre-connect required off origins i do recommend doing that uh yeah you can see that i've got facebook turned uh, i've got an ad block turned on because it's blocking facebook things but all of these things that i've already handled but even though i handled those there's still things that i need to do and like Improving this can do significant improvements. So to, uh, if we look at this, oh, the speed index isn't on there. I guess that's probably a combined thing from everything else, actually. If we look at largest contentful paint. Okay, so um, that actually is probably the screen being white for so long. And that's white in this particular instance because it's waiting for the fonts to load. And then when the fonts load, bam, it, it does everything at once. You've got the option of also having fullback fonts. So it will load with a crappy font. And then when your real font loads in, it will switch. I don't do that on mobile because it causes um, cumulative layout shift, which is not what I want. But we can do another report and I can do desktop and you'll see, uh, you'll see that the stats are different. So I would always recommend prioritizing mobile first because mobile does perform differently. Mobile it puts the, the limiter on the speed of your internet. So back at home, I've got gigabit internet. With gigabit, stuff loads very, very fast. So actually, I always score really high. It's not always a, a fair assessment. Yeah, here when I'm in China and I'm going around the world to talk to anything, I can notice that 
it's slower. I'm 79, I'd like to be above 80. Like 80 is a really good place to be. And this thing, I should just fix this. This is like serving with low resolution. So this is the new one. So we didn't see this before because on mobile, that image was much smaller, but on, on desktop, that image is much larger. So I need to be aware of that, right? It's an important thing to attack. So it's worth doing this both desktop and mobile mode. And the other thing not to fall into is this is my home page, right? Mm. It's very important that I get this nice and good. However, like things like say the features page, this is a different page that does different things that performs differently. So there's a YouTube video on here, like what were we 7,986. If we do this again, it's going to be completely different. Well, hopefully not completely different because hopefully I'm going to get all hundreds, but I haven't looked at optimizing this in a while. So it, it's something to pay attention to. So you've probably seen in search console that actually you'll have page experience. So page experience, well, there we go. Look, <laughs> you can see my page experience suffered recently and it's dropped right off. But actually I've got 28 failing core web vitals on mobile. So my traffic's going to drop off hugely for mobile, whereas my traffic for desktop's really good. I'm still failing some stuff there, so I'm not perfect. Like I'm a busy person as well, but um, I think this is going to mess up. Sometimes it just goes wrong, but whatever. Oh no, it is moving. But yeah, it, it's worth doing this. It's very important to do this. They've added a big Chrome screen. So yeah, we were 7,900 and something. So it, it's worth doing the other pages. Like my SEO score being 100, cool. <laughs> like, I'm happy with that. But yeah, so this is a brilliant example here. This is something that's not got sufficient contrast ratio. So it's saying probably that blue versus that white, or maybe it's doing that blue versus that black. Like, I can't say without digging too deeply now. Yeah, I think it's this blue versus this white based on that one. So that blue needs to be slightly darker, not hugely darker, but for someone with like color blindness or issues around seeing blues, <laughs> well, it could be any color like this blues on this, but it's very important that you, like some of your audience might be slightly like disabled in their eyes. Like us improving that, Although I can read it very clearly, someone with a high brightness monitor might suffer. So we want to address these things because that helps us reach a wider audience. Like they're already on our page. They already know that they're interested in the stuff that we have to offer. Let's do a brilliant job and like serve them with everything they need. Let's just quickly load this in incognito just to see what the difference is. This may help, this may not. As I say, the VPN is probably the thing that causes me the most issue right now. But this is a great, and again, free place that you can come to. You can go through, you can optimize your website. There's, there's a lot of things. So there's too many things for this particular video for me to give suggestions on how to improve. However, if you want them, like, let me know. Like, I'll happily go through everything and help you improve them. But let's hear your common themes. Like leave a comment below and um, we'll go through what you're suffering with and how to fix it. But hopefully when this loads, we should see that this may or may not perform slightly better because it's in incognito mode. But again, do your most important pages, like the feature page for Article Fiesta. We have loads of people come here. Yeah, so here we go, 95 best practices. Did I only run best practices? That's annoying. You can see that different pages perform differently. So best practices was 85 when I was running with ad block, etc. Because of those errors, because of the ad block. So that's why you want to run in incognito. So it's still moaning about the low resolution image, but I can fix that. That's not the end of the world. <coughs> there you go. Hopefully that should give you some clues as to what you need to do, where to look. Uh, again, it's a completely free tool. It's done by Google. So, you know, this is the, the true ranking test that Google uses. Like this isn't just made up by some random. This is, this is by the official people and it's an official test and it's built into your browser. You haven't got to download anything. 
if you've got Chrome, you've probably got Chrome. I think 80%, 86% of the market's got Chrome. So run it. <laughs> There's no harm in running it. Optimize that, you'll see results. So I, I, me doing this video, I, you can tell I'm doing it because I saw that drop off in page experience. It's something I need to address. You should address too if you're having problems because you will get more traffic by doing it. Anyway, you can't tell I'm ill, so <laughs> I'm going to drop off now and I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun.